A Winston-Salem man spent $41,000 for a bunch of solar panels. The hope was to cut back on his electric bill. Sounds great, but it was everything but that. They rarely worked and failed inspections. He couldn't get any help until he called Two Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy. Tucked in the country. All the way back there, and it's all fenced in. Surrounded by peace and quiet is the home of Chris Ehrlich. I got it right before COVID, and it was a nice little retreat for me. The home a sanctuary of sorts, one that now has a solar component. I thought about getting solar panels in the past, but just, you know, it's just something you think about. From a thought to more than a dozen panels, a $41,000 purchase, his friend's son, the salesman. It seemed all good, you know, I mean, I probably would have sat on it for a little while if it wasn't for that fact. The panels going on the roof in March of last year. Five months later, they still weren't working. It just kept failing. It failed almost about, I don't think it failed about four times. The install not going smooth, several safety issues found. I didn't have a ground wire hooked up to the house which they wanted. They didn't have little sticker panels saying that if you open this box, you could get shot. There was also an issue with the structural integrity of the panels. This was a major problem. So it was a $103 a month lease payment for a system not working. I felt like I was I was just the biggest fool in the world. Chris contacting the solar company weekly. By now it's August. The system's still not on. It's been frustrating and I I did. I thought, thought about getting a lawyer, but lawyers won't take your case. So Chris called us and we went to work. You did get the ball rolling. Those lease payments refunded, the repairs and fixes made, the inspection passed. The system finally turned on. Until Channel 2 came on, you came on, the, on this. I wasn't getting anything. Chris is now actually looking to sell the house, solar panels and all. And I checked it today. It's it's doing all right so far. The reward doesn't exactly make up for the six month wait, but it's big, as in an electric bill roughly $200 less than it was. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.